everyone. Um, after the flower, uh, 3D flower I did yesterday, I wanted to do another one just with different colors and a slightly different design. Uh, we'll see how that one works out. I'm using the boom gels again because I just like, I like how easy they are and I'm sort of struggling for time today. So I thought I'd just grab my boom gels and do, do a quick video. So I'm using pearlescent pearl, um, pearlescent baby blue, pearlescent dark blue, uh, pearlescent violet and a black. And I've covered my canvas, um, just not the edges, but mostly with a black already. So what I'll do again is I'll go ahead and start layering the puddles of paint and I'll speed up this bit again and I will speak to you shortly. I wised up a little bit, I think, haha, <laughs> from the last one I did. I don't think I had quite enough layers. Um, I like the result, the last one, but I think um, I could have done with stretching the center a little bit less. So I've tried to do quite a few more layers this time. And what I'll go ahead and do again is do the um, old knitting needle pull from the corner to the center but i'd only do half of what i did last time and then i'll come back again and i'll show you what i'll do next there we go um, again, it's gone off center a little bit, but I'm not worried at this stage. And what I forgot to mention, I, at the last minute, decided to add some um, gold in between some of the layers because, well, gold and blue are stunning combination. I can barely see it now, so I'm just excited to see what happens once I spin it. But what I wanted to do now um, is go in the other direction to give the petals a different shape. Oh, and I love doing this. You know, the 3D effect is so strong. It's, you know, it almost makes me feel dizzy. I love it. I really, really love it. So I'm just going to finish up um, pulling through the petals here. Here. Just one thing that I think is uh, worth mentioning is just drag your um, knitting needle against the canvas so you get all the layers. That's I think that's definitely worth mentioning it. Uh, mentioning, sorry, because then you go through all the layers you've let, laid down and uh, you'll get a more even result, I believe. And it's easier to control when you're dragging the knitting needle against the canvas as well. So there we go. Not that many. I'm not going to bother speeding up this bit because there's not that much to go. Oh, this looks so lush. Sorry, lush is a <laughs> throwback from my years in England that I spent. It's lovely. That's what I like to say these days. There we go. OK. 
Okay, three more, that one there. I'm always really worried about this stage that I get confused and uh, I've got paint on my watch, never mind. Yeah, I get uh, worried that I'll uh, lose concentration and accidentally pull in the wrong direction or something, but so far so good. Center to edge this time. There we go. And yeah, you probably noticed I'm wiping my uh, knitting needle on a wad of paper between each uh, each pass with a knitting needle so as not to uh, mess up the paint. I love how that looks. I'm really excited to see how that looks when I spin it. Let's have a look. I'm just closing my bottles and wiping the nozzles here so they don't get sort of dried paint gunk on them because that's never nice, uh, very nice to clean up. Okay, just grabbing my syringe again and tidying up the center, which I might do something with in a bit once I've um, done the spinning. Okay. Actually, there's not an awful lot of excess paint here now because I've both um, come in from the edges and gone back out. So there's not much to remove. But yeah, there we go. Right, let's go for a spin, as they say. There we go. Start fairly gently. I hope that gold comes through not looking that promising i probably should have used more of it oh my goodness there's a tiny little fly here go away don't get in my paint right and again learned something from last time at this stage i'm going to cover my uh, corners and my edges because that was a nightmare to get <laughs> fall over the corners last time and i think i that's why i ended up stretching the design just a little bit more than i would have wanted to so it's best to be prepared at this stage so i don't have to as soon as the design looks like i want it to look i can then stop spinning okay uh one more corner here just cover that in paint so it's not going to be completely centered, but I don't mind because it's a really nice design, I think. There we go. Oh, that fly again. Now is in my paint. I don't believe it. Tiny little fruit fly. It's pretty much a winter here. <laughs> oh, well, I guess fruit flies aren't that fussy about the time of year, it seems. And just a bit more here, just to ensure that the uh, paint does fall off the edge nicely. There we go. Give my hands a little wipe as well. Oh, oh dear. If that had ended up in my paint, I wouldn't have been a happy camper. <laughs> Painting mishaps 101. There we go. And oh, I love it. Yeah, not much gold showing through, but it is giving sort of that extra special little sheen to the whole whole design. Oh, it's pretty. It is so pretty. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder, should I spin just once more, maybe? Because now I really don't mind this, uh, that little bit of black negative space in the corners. I think that looks really nice, but ideally I'd like to get that bit to fall off a little bit more and that bit there. But I'm just gonna give it a little torch now. And probably have to do that a little bit later as well because I really don't want air bubbles ruining this. 
and I might just go in with um, a toothpick to pop the rest of the rest of the um, air bubbles later but I'm just gonna let the paint settle after this for a bit uh, spin more or no spin more I can't decide <laughs> uh -huh. I found a little bit of uncovered canvas there that's fixed oh no another one there I'm being picky because I want the um, the sides to be part of this design. Just one gentle spin. Yeah, you know I said one, I meant two. There we go. I think we're done. Right. Oh, I love that. That's so cute. I'll just... um grab the camera and I'll show you close up with uh, with and without the uh, flash this sheen here is just so pretty but I don't know whether I should do something with a center there I think I might so let's not go yet I'm gonna put just a little tiny dots of gold just there oh yay I'm getting really excited here. <laughs> there we go. Perhaps do I want a little just slightly no 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 don't go messing with it no and then 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 what do I do? I think I'm gonna do this. Yes, that looks good. I like that. So I'll just pop the knitting needle into the gold, pull it out and lift up so it's tidy where, where the uh, knitting needle leaves the paint. You could easily do this with, um, with a toothpick now, but I'm not entirely sure where my toothpicks are. So... I'm just going to do it with the same knitting needle. Again, making sure to uh, wipe it between passes. And I can just sort of disguise a little bit of the fact that the center didn't quite work out like I wanted it to. I could have probably just pulled off a little bit more paint uh, with the uh, syringe. Again, I'm having trouble talking and doing okay I'm hiding that first bubble there that's cool and just trying to go towards the um, lines that oh dear lines that already exist there and just the pass there Oh, nearly missed that bit there. I quite literally have I'm nearly biting my tongue trying to <laughs> trying to get this to look nice. And then perhaps just swirl it ever so slightly just to Yeah, that looks good. I like that. I'll show you um close up in a second. Because uh, the metallic paint has this interesting, and so far in my um, opinion, all metallic pa or metallic paints have this interesting um, um, thing to them. I can't think of the word. <clears throat> sort of um, um, characteristic. That's the word I was looking for. Thank you. Characteristic to them, where if you lay it down, it can look really flat. But it's amazing what you can do by just pulling lines through it to make it more lively. Right, I think I'm done with that. Let me just grab the camera and I'll show you uh, a close-up. Right, there we are. I do really like this. Let me show you the centre. Sorry, I'm getting a shadow here. I'll just pop the um, flash on if I can find it again. Why do I have trouble with this every time? There we go. Look at that. 
Oh, that's so pretty. I love that little sort of uh, swirly sun kind of looking center to it. That's so pretty. Those, these paints are just stunning. I love my uh, metallic and pearlescent paints. And for very good reason, look at that sparkle. Yeah, that's what the gold did. It's not showing up that much, but it's giving that extra, extra sparkle. There's a bit of gold there. Hello. And you can just see a couple of uh, air bubbles that I will go over with um, a toothpick and just get rid of them. So there we go. Slightly different 3D flower. Um, that's me pretty much done, apart from to say please subscribe and hit the notification bell and like this video please like this video <laughs> if you like what i've done and i will see speak to you all very soon thanks very much bye hi again <laughs> i didn't go <laughs> you know i spoke about studio um sorry painting mishaps i've got to share this with you as i was popping the air bubbles i actually <laughs> dropped a toothpick this one here <laughs> roughly to about that location <laughs> i can't stop laughing you should have oh my face must have been a picture but i wanted to show you what happened um i because the sort of it really looked awful there was just a big line there i moved the canvas to slightly the edge of this uh turn um the uh spinner and I made sure there's paint under the canvas so it sticks to the spinner. And I kept spinning it until I got rid of the <laughs> offending bit, which you can just see there. <laughs> oh, I can't stop laughing still. But yeah, um, actually it was a good thing because some of the gold actually came through pretty nicely. See? So, again, I think that was a very lucky accident that... I happen there because it made me spin more okay i lost the uh, negative black space but i'm not worried because i didn't ruin the design or what do you think let me know in the comments okay now i'm gonna go <laughs> thanks a lot bye mm -hmm.